Testing, one, two, three, testing. Did I say something? Test. Microphone test, one, two. But I think you should come and take a ride. See the world through my eyes. Every day is a surprise. So I party like my birthday. LA is my birthplace. First place, west side. Loud as I want to be. What's up guys, it's freezing out today. It's getting that kind of Canada weather that we've been waiting for, joy oh joy. But uh, first and foremost, we got some work done and we just ordered something new for the Cloth Fitness shop. So we have a really new exciting launch coming soon. We'll probably tease it out on Instagram. Keep your eyes open for that. It's something a lot of you guys have been asking for and I think it's something that will sell really quick, probably the first day we release it. We didn't get a ton of them. So hopefully that's something you guys can look forward to. But as for the gym and what we got planned for today, first and foremost, we felt that our workouts have been a bit monotonous and tiring and we wanna just spice it up. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go back to I pick exercise, he picks exercise. I'm gonna try stuff we don't normally do. Get a nice little burn, we don't always advocate doing this, but it will really kind of switch up the aesthetic, make it nice and fun for us. We have not. Alright, welcome to Nando's of Beijing. Microphone test, one, two, three. First time at Nando's, uh, we came here once and we actually ended up leaving. That was on me because, I don't know, it seems, it doesn't seem exceptional to me. We have Swiss LA, they have really good chicken, so I've never really felt the need to come here, but we figured we'd try it out. We're always trying new restaurants just for this, for the vlog, for everything, and uh, I ended up getting some pretty good food. I got the peri peri chicken pita, the peri peri fries, and garlic mashed potatoes. The macro should be on the screen now. 34 p 121 carb, 36 I also fired up the sweet diet cherry coke. Can't say no to that. This lens is incredible, but the autofocus is very iffy. Like, I filmed the whole clip like this, and that's just annoying as can be. But this is better, so I'm pretty excited. Definitely getting a good amount of protein. Definitely higher in the fat. Should be good, looks good, smells good, we'll see. Also, uh, we're sticking with the beard for a little bit. We're pushing it past November. I look like a 12 year old, because I shaved mine. I didn't have much going on, but they have vanilla Diet Coke. You cannot pass up this offer, man. I'm gonna get like 10 of these. Mm. So good. What do you think of this place so far? Not bad. I'm excited to see how the wraps are. I got fries and veggies as well. So two sides. Um, but I'm most excited for this because I love vanilla Coke. For your enjoyment and for our enjoyment, we're going to try 10 of these and we're going to rank them. So I guess five each. So you're going to get different scales on different drinks. But we, I always get, I go to the movie theater, they have unlimited refills. So I just fire this up like crazy. Yo, um, isn't uh, aspartame bad for you? Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yo, your food's here. I have to log the sauce too. I realized I forgot that. Pirate Zero is probably the worst thing I've ever tasted. It tastes like Slightly flavored water. Try it. Oh, no. There's nothing there. I like my Diet Coke. I tried the lime. I take water over Yeah, that. I take water. I, I tried the lime and the vanilla. Vanilla up here, lime here. I gave Josh the orange Diet Coke. This one's cherry, and I must say it's amazing. It's funky. Mm -hmm. Cherry vanilla Coke. This is like the weirdest thing I've ever tried. This drink is an oxymoron. Orange Coke. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. I don't know, it's it's so weird. It's bitter, but then it's orangey. Diet Sprite, it's okay. Nothing special, but it actually tastes pretty decent for what it is. So what'd you get this one? This is called Clib Zero. P-L-I-B-B -B Zero. No idea what it is, but it tastes like Cherry Coke. I just clicked it. I'm living on the edge. But uh finished the meal, changing my mind a little bit. 
It was uh, it was really good. Everything they make is like very savory and delicious. You can tell it's really about the quality. Me and Kyle usually do go for quantity foods, but this was a nice turn, a nice change. It is definitely a little bit on the pricier end, but that could be because we're downtown. Sometimes they spike it. But overall, I, I have pretty good feelings about this place. You guys will never guess what happened. So basically, the manager of uh, Nando's came over to us. He had two cards. He set them on our table. He said. We hate you guys vlogging here and we're like, oh no, like what did we do wrong? Are we getting kicked out? Like this happens very often. A lot of you guys don't see on camera, but we kicked out a lot of places. We're told to stop filming kind of thing. So anyways, he came over, he's like, I appreciate you guys filming my store, that's awesome. And he gave us a free meal. So um, yeah, just super fired up because uh, this doesn't happen very often. I think it's a very smart business move and I'm excited to come back here. So it's a very intelligent decision because now I'm very I really like this place now and just small things like that go a long way. Even like, because companies should be embracing it, the power, even last time in Sunset Grill, there was great service there, we displayed it. Shout out to uh, Sunset! <laughs> this is Christine and I'm Carol. <laughs> and that did one, everyone seemed to reflect it. It looked really good on the company and that's new age marketing, right? That's why people are paying people for vlogs and Casey and I saw team was bought out by CNN because they saw the ability for them to actually do impactful marketing or media or whatever that company is going to be. So I thought that was a really cool move and yeah, the meal was really solid. Remember we, kicked out of, remember we were kicked out of uh, Big Boys? Yeah, Big Boys burgers sucks. Don't buy from them. That guy was ridiculous. He wasn't even reasonable. He wanted to sue us for filming in his store. Yeah, he's like, uh, take the video down or I'll sue you. We were just eating our burgers, saying how great they were. It wasn't even like, hey, can you take it? Like, it was so nice. It was staff. We asked if we could film. They said yes. That's a whole nother story. That's just a stupid. <laughs> but now we're actually going to the gym. Yeah, let's get into it. If we get to 50,000 subs by the end of the year, Kyle will jump in this water. Oh, buddy, uh, 50,000 by the end of the year, 100%. Hey, if we can get well, this- you have to dive in. Oh, in that's pretty gutty. Yeah, no, no, let's, get, let's have a like goal for this. If, if we can get to, I don't know, what's 500 likes maybe? 1,000. Uh, 1,000, I would jump into here. You'll dive in? Not dive, but I jump. jelly flop. Okay, all right, how many, how many? Yeah, 1,000. Okay, 1,000 likes on this video and I will belly flop into here. <laughs> Why not, right? Whoa! Dude, don't fall. Stop! <laughs> Microphone testing. I'm not even gonna lie, after the 10K challenge, I didn't think I'd be back eating donuts, but we came here, we're getting half a dozen, three each, and uh, I'm super excited, they're so good, man. Oh, no, no, no. 